What's up guys, welcome to Echo Productions, I'm Silas Willby, and today we're taking a look at how to create a cinematic Instagram story in Adobe Premiere Pro. And for today's video, I reached out to my friend Ethan from Little Gecko Productions. Ethan has been creating an Instagram story every day for a long time now. Anyway, here's Ethan. Hey guys, I'm Ethan from Little Gecko Productions, and today I'm going to be showing you how I edit an Instagram story inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. First off, I'll import all my footage and then change the frame rate for the shots that I want to be slow motion. Next I'll make a new sequence and you want to make sure that the aspect ratio is 900 by 1600. This is what gives you the vertical aspect ratio that Instagram has. Now I'll drop my footage in and hit keep existing settings. Now we need to make the footage fit the aspect ratio. I shoot in 1080p so the scale values might be a little bit different for you but it's pretty much intuitive. If I shot horizontally then I'll increase the scale by 150% and adjust the position to get the composition I want but I find it best to shoot vertically so that I can scale it down to 83.5% and adjust the rotation by 90 degrees. Now I'll copy and paste these settings to all of my clips, that's Control c and Control v and begin editing like you would any other b-roll sequence. I'll add music, transitions, a color grade, the whole works. Now that it's done, I'll go to the beginning of the sequence and hit I on my keyboard to set an endpoint, then scrub to 15 seconds and hit O. This selects the first 15 seconds of the sequence. Then I'll hit Control M to bring up the Export Media panel. For a preset, I'll choose YouTube 1080p and then hit Match Sequence. Give it a name and a destination and then hit Q. Now I'll repeat this step in 15 second increments until I have queued up the entire video. Now I like to title them for the day's date and I'll increment a number at the end of the date so that I know the order that the clips will go in. Then you'll hop on to Adobe Media Encoder and hit play. Once they're all exported, I'll drop them into my Dropbox where I can download them into my phone and post them onto my Instagram. Now if you want to find out more on my daily Instagram grind and why I recommend that everyone should do it, go check out my video. All right, so if you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial, make sure to check out Ethan's channel for tons more content. But that's all we've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Anyway, this has been Echo Productions. I'm Silas Willby, and I'll see you in the next one.